One Ton Life is presented by Vattenfall, Volvo and Ahus. In this webisode of One Ton Life, the Lindell family gets their new Volvo C30 electric. Now let's meet Johan Kornberg from Volvo Car Corporation Special Vehicles, who's going to tell us more about how to handle the car and the secrets of climate smart driving. Well, the reason for Volvo being part of this experiment is to contribute with the uh, CO2 footprint from 7 ton down to 1 ton uh, per person annually. And uh, we believe that uh, transportation is one major part of uh, the CO2 footprint and that we can contribute in a very positive way in that. Uh, and besides that, it is very, uh, from a general perspective, very interesting to follow. Unfortunately, a petrol or diesel engine only has an efficiency rating of about 35%. An electric motor, however, has an efficiency rating of 90% or even 95% if we look only at the motor itself. So, all in all, it is way more efficient to run a car on electricity. So, this is the electric motor. These here are the front axle and the front wheels. Here we see reduction gear beside the electric motor that cuts the electric motor speed of about 15,000 revs down to a more manageable 1,800 or 2,000 or so revs at the wheels. The car has just one single forward gear. And that's one of the reasons why top speed has been limited to 130 km per hour. When you start the car, it's business as usual. Keep your foot on the brake pedal just like in any other car with automatic transmission. Then insert the key. But for the car's computers to start up, that takes a bit of time. I usually turn the key to position 2, and then the display here tells me turn the key to start when it's ready. And that's what I do by turning the key to position 3. That's all there is to it. Now the motor is running, that is to say the car is ready to drive. So I still keep my foot on the brake pedal, move the gear selector in the direction I want to drive and then release the handbrake. Uh, I showed the family how to use the vehicle in a practical way. Uh, I showed uh, if there are any unique uh, instruments. You have the gear level, you have the, the parking brake and also how to charge the vehicle because it's important uh, that you do that in a correct way. Uh, since, the, since the vehicle has an uh, a external uh, heater, uh, I also showed how to fill ethanol in, into the vehicle. The Volvo C30 electric has a range of about 150 km fully charged and the top speed is set to 130 km per hour. It takes about 8 hours to charge the battery and the car has 110 horsepowers. Accelerating from standing still to 100 km per hour takes about 10 seconds. After some city cruising downtown, the Lindells drive off to Upland's Motor to take a closer look at more Volvo cars. So, how does it feel like to drive a Volvo C30 electric? To drive the electric car is uh, really nice. It's smooth, especially when, when you take off, you can glide away smoothly. And then the, the Otherwise, it's like driving an ordinary car. The difference is it's really quiet. One, one thing you have to keep track of when driving the car is the status of the battery, because you have 100, 150 kilometers to go, and you want, do not want to be standing there with uh, no electricity left in the batteries. On the other hand, you get direct feedback on your driving style, and, and you can challenge yourself. How energy effective can I actually drive? It feels great to ride in this electric Volvo car. It's new and I like the way that you feel when you ride in it. It's steady and I like the feeling and it's all new and designed. So it's cozy to ride in it on the mornings on the way to school. To drive a Volvo electric car is very, very fun and also very, very, very safety and it's very silent. So I like it very much. Riding in this car, I feel very safe and I, it's so quiet. You don't like, you wait for the engine to start, but you don't hear it. It's like, yeah, 
school. <laughs> when the Lindell family needs to travel longer distances, a Volvo green carpool with drivey classified cars can be used. The, the main difference uh, between the electric C30 and a standard uh, comparable C30 is that uh, a standard vehicle is run on, on petrol, diesel or ethanol uh, and this is run only by an electric motor and the energy storage that it has in its batteries. So that is the main difference. Otherwise uh, you drive the vehicle as you do with a normal uh, automatic uh, geared uh, vehicle. So that is uh, no, no, no difference. If we talk about the, the important Volvo features, there is no differences at all when it comes to safety, uh, roominess, uh, performance or driving behavior besides that it is silent. In the next webisode of One Ton Life, the Lindell family learns how to shop and cook climate-smart food. See you then.